We will have at m i v i s i o n lecture. We will invite our captain, our brand, the four year, the most respected CEO by GPTW. Let's invite Chairman Park Han Gil with a big hand. Yeah. 보니까 도경이 부회장 나올 때 박수가 더 컸던 더 컸던 것 같아요. The, yeah. It was a bigger hand for 아, her than me. 제가 가진 거다 이렇게. Actually, I'm giving everything to my compassion children. 집사람한테 좀 살려고 그랬더니 집사람이 또다 내놓으니까 lean on my wife, but my wife is also giving out everything. So I am thinking, like, uh, whom should I lean on? I think the the God. I can lean on the God. So we are having this two-day Success Academy. Uh, because of COVID-19, we were having one-day seminar, and we are recovering from. COVID-19 and we are coming back to the normal. We have our products, uh, cosmetics. So, Executive Director Han Sang-in introduced our history for the cosmetics, right? You can get a lot of trust, right? The Product worth a lot of worth a lot of money, and I know it uh, deserves a lot of um, price, high price. But because we are pursuing absolute price, absolute quality, we have lowered the price. Actually, for at first, when we uh, try to set the price with Coma, it is not a. a Very smooth discussion. They didn't accept uh, right away. Accept the price right away. But for about more than one decade, I worked uh, for the uh, and for the vehicle parts manufacturing in the uh, vehicle industry. It has a very tight standard for part cost. It has about 20,000 or 40,000 parts in one, in one car. And when uh, the cost goes up just a little bit, the entire price for uh, the car can go up. So we uh, try to lower the price very tightly. For example, when we create a manufacturer part and we have to negotiate the price with the OEM company. Of course, we get some materials, like they get the materials. Okay, this is your the price that you want, and they come to our uh, factory. And for example, they weigh all the uh, materials, and they. Also, take a look at the costs per gram, uh, like uh, that for import and for the personal cost, personal expenses. They also get the like, second and hours for the working hours and that they are that tight to manage the cost. So I am very used to this uh, tight management for a cost. And in the cosmetic industry, things are very different. And uh, I could feel that it is a very generous, the industry is very generous, and I want to go tight. When we first met each other, I, tell them, I told them 
화장품이 어, 주스보다 비쌀 이유를 한번 대봐라. Tell me why the cosmetics should be more expensive than fruit juice, and it is from plants, and because fruit juice is also from fruit, and I believe they are the same. They have the same origins, and they say the ingredients are from something Yosemite trees. And I told them, then we can plant a lot of trees because we have a lot of land. And actually, for them, I was uh, too much, too tight, uh, and I don't really understand. They might thought that I didn't really understand cosmetics, but I actually didn't. Uh, I once worked for a com cosmetic factory. And I increased the sales, and the factory couldn't uh, speed up the speed. Cannot follow the speed. And I visited another factory, and I could see that. Uh, one of my friends uh, was there, and he is actually a researcher, and he don't know about how to manage the factory, so I took the position and I analyzed the factory. And I told uh, the sales manager, and I uh, found that the cap, uh, it was out of caps, the factory was out of caps, that, it, that was why the production was not being done. And he said two days later, and I was like this. Of course, I didn't beat him. I was trying to beat him. I tried to beat him. I told him, report everything to me for every hour. The part is, uh, you are out of this part, but now you are still here. That's the right thing. You should go to the cap manufacturing factory. And you should be the owner of that cap manufacturing factory. Because when I worked for the uh, car manufacturing, car part manufacturing factory, I believe every uh, client should be the owner of the factory of the partnering company. So you should understand everything and you should understand like financial status of your partner company. So you should understand everything. That is what I learned for the 15 years in my career. So I could see all the process for the cost management. And I mainly worked on sales, but I also did a QA. QA work as well, ISO 9001, when was it was uh, introduced, I worked on it, it is not uh, tighter, like as tighter as it used to be, that's because uh, our technology has advanced, but actually it has changed, and I worked on those uh, introductions, the standard introductions, so I worked on sales quality control, and I also worked on the manufacturing technology. It, it, it is about design, uh, like in, uh, it is about the machine installation. For example, uh, in Germany, there is a crew 
It's uh, an elevator company. During the Second World War, uh, the company manufactured a big tank uh, engines uh, for, for trains and ships. And uh, the company is also part of the big company. And uh, they had a Chinese team and I, uh, I was from Korea there. And I saw, I saw they have a different attitude to the Chinese team. They have uh, the higher position personnel for the Chinese team than me. And they told me uh, because Chinese team are paying three times more for the same machine. So I asked why. I would come up, come on the... I should come... I should climb the machine and you need the ladder, right? And you can actually manufacture the ladder in Korea. So I try to reduce all the costs. But the Chinese team was different. They would buy everything, like uh, letters. So Korea would buy some essential things, only buy essential things. Uh, the cost used to be about 2.3 billion Korean won. Then I said we cannot buy this one. We can we can uh, skip this. We can skip this. Like plastic for engineering. The plastic can observe uh, the moisture, and when it gets high temperature, when it is like 230 degrees Celsius, then the moisture inside it would become a vapor and becomes a bubble that can create some problems. So you need uh, some uh, dryer, dry area heater. And I said that part can be manufactured in Korea. And they say, you can't. And I said, I can. Uh, how did I uh, create it? When I visited Germany, there were some people who came to Germany before me. They are from Japan. And I said, uh, they, they asked them to bring a camera. And they recorded everything to copy those uh, machines. So for the Koreans, and they uh, put the post, you should not, you are not allowed to take the pictures. But I took the pictures with my eyes, like the mothers. Mm, I try to remember all the uh, mothers. So, but I could not uh, take a memo in, in front of them, so I visited uh, the toilet very frequently. All the specs, specifications, I try to remember them, and then uh, took the memos. And before getting the machine body, I created the dryer system. And they asked, how did, how did you do that? How? And he said, you cannot do that, but I did. So the cost used to be about 2.2 billion Korean won. 
uh, but I lowered the cost to $1.8 billion, $8 billion uh, Korean won, and we had to buy two more machines. So, we are trying to get some discounts, and the person uh, was not giving the discount to us. And there was a company in Australia, another company, actually that machine, I believe, had some problems, so I didn't buy that uh, machine, but that machine is cheaper. So I bought two German machines, and I was telling them, uh, we are buying two more, so give, give, uh, give me the... Uh, discounts, and I still remember the manager, Poon Christian, that was his name, and he didn't give us uh, the discounts. And I try to reduce the cost. I try to get only a small discount, but he gave us a very, very small discount. I was upset. Because I know how much profit they would get, and I uh, know, knew that they can give us uh, at least 20% of discount, but um, the German machine is very good, and the Australia uh, one is about 30% cheaper, but uh, still have some problems. Uh, when, after getting the machine from Germany, uh, we created the floor plan from the machine and we visited the Austria and uh, we told them you have some problems your machine has some problems these problems uh, this is the floor plan for your machine you can uh, fix your machines based on this floor plan and they were so surprised to see the floor plan they asked uh, me, how did you get that, get this? So, uh, we got to upgrade uh, the Austria machine. We got the price of 1.1 billion Korean won. And Kwon Kirsten got the news, and his boss, named Moss, the director, flew to Korea at night, and they came to me, and I was Hans Bach back then. To me, they said, you know that the vacuum machine, the Australian machine, got a lot of problems. How come you could use that one? And they said, you knew that. So I said, I, yes, I knew. But I said, I don't need to use your machine. So at the end, they said, only one machine, not two machines, only one. If you want to make a mistake, please make this one. So I said, no, no need. I made already. I made an order already, and I'm, I will be using that. So I just said that it's okay, it's okay, don't worry, and I sent them back. Anyways, since then, I converted the new machine, and their, their new machine went worked really well. And also, the, that the new machine got its own patents. So, I negotiated that machine with 1.1 billion Korean won, and I said, it is 1.8 billion, and how much discount could you provide? I like your product. I, li I like your product. And the problem is the cost, and how much discount? And they said, okay. It is 1.3 billion. See, their margin is over 500 million Korean won, but they didn't make a discount at least 571 mark. So I said that, okay, next time I will buy your product, but next time it will be 1.3 billion Korean won, okay? Like this. 
Because Australian machine and German machine have their own strengths. So as a, as a manager of the manufacturing, I designed the manufacturing line and I also done on the automation. I'm now doing, I'm now working on the cosmetic industry, but why I am talking about it? Let me tell you. I made this kind of car component and I also did some quality control and will all of the know-how I visited the cosmetic factories and I found a lot I found a lot of loopholes when I came to the factory at first I could see how organized it was and how so I check a lot of things from the arrangement and the cleans and the safety and I could also guess its error rates. If I see the design of the manufacturing line and if I see how organized it is and if I see the containers and the safety and so on, I could calculate the rate of their quality control. When I visited the cosmetic factory at first, I could see a lot of things and I could check it. And I used to be a fact, uh, owner of the cosmetic factory. Back then, I worked with Kim Chi Bong, CEO, and I asked when I want to use a foam cleanser. If I use this vacuum machine, how much hours do we need to use it to make a form? So to, for a better understanding, let me say, we need to put all of the ingredients into this chamber and then we need to mix it with the acetator with a um, proper temperature. And then at the bottom there is an impeller and there's a high pressure spraying system. And then the uh, ingredients are being mixed in that container. Yeah, mixing blade, there are mixing blades and a lot of components and all of these components are in my mind. But when a normal people visit the factory, the only thing they saw is the outer package and outer container. But I knew the interior and the inner components of that machine because I ran a company before. I, I ran a factory before. So we need to put the ingredient first and we need to mix them. And then since it's a foam cleanser, there might be a lot of foam in the container. Most of the low quality companies put that into the tube with the foam on it and then they put it into the basket and at a low price and they sell the product at a low price and the online shopping mall. In that tube, the ingredients are filled well, but when you squeeze it, the foams are all filled, the, the foams are filling the container. So when you squeeze a small amount like this, this two-space amount, if you push it, the foam will be generated and then nothing will left on your hands. So what should we do? If there is a foam in the container, we need to put the vacuum and we need to remove the foam from the container and it takes about 48 hours. So I asked it to Kim Chi Bong, the CEO of Kim, uh, that factory, and he was shocked. You are a CEO of a distribution company, but how come do you know that? You, how come do you know that the vacuums and the foams and this kind of process, how come do you know that kind of process? So... I said, please explain me that why it should be expensive than the juice. At first, Hemohim caused 770,000 Korean wine. So I said, you know, all of these ingredients are the roots, and these are the extract of the roots, and how come it could be so much expensive? Let's sell it at what one-tenth of the price. They said it has a lot of herbal ingredients, and it had a lot of traditional medical medicine ingredients but I replied let's say that if we need to raise 
Angelica leaves and uh, uh, Redis, Redis, which one is difficult? Actually, the process itself are the same. So, because if you want to grow Angelica leaf, uh, just put the root in it and grow it for two years or three years. So it is really simple. Of course. It is really easy. It doesn't need any herbicide because it stinks, so a lot of pests don't, pests don't like it. I mean, it is really easy to grow the angelica, that herb ingredient, so why come? How come? It could be so much expensive. Making, like, uh, grow the, growing this herb plant is really easy. So let me say that. Which one is difficult? To grow an angelica leaf and to grow a radis? And they said, actually, angelica leaves is better. So I said, then, the price needs to be down. It is only about making the extract of the roots and uh, mixing the ingredients together. If you... If I was in, 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 ignorant, I could not see, say like that, but I wasn't. So I talk about the principles so we could start from the bottom. Atomy also always cherishes the absolute quality and absolute price. This didn't came, come from the bottom. The director Han sang -gun was here and he talked about the Rigans. And if you are obsessed by this kind of difficult terms, you cannot negotiate the term. Of course, you can use the product. You might understand the quality and the function. You could see that the radiation technology, RT, nanotechnologies are being used in this product, and a lot of nanotechnologies and targeting, blah, 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 patent technologies are used. You could understand that, but at the end, you could decide whether to use it or not. But if you want to negotiate the price, you don't need to know that. Because, I, I can say that, you don't need to do that by yourself. What, what you need is a machine. In order to run the machine, what we need is a motor and the electricity. This is how we could set the price. This is my approach. Since we are the global consumers, we need to make this kind of approach. Globally, we have 15 million members, and with this 15 million members, I am leading all of these members, and I, as a representative, I need to negotiate the price. If you visit the factory and if you want to negotiate the price, you cannot because if someone try to explain something to me with the materials, I just reply, oh, okay, it's good. It might take a lot of take a lot of money. But after that, I try to see the basic cause and the basic principles. And like this, I could cherish the absolute quality and absolute price product. There is a basic principle of Atomy's success. We normally use the term principle. Then what is principle? What's the principle of Atomy business? If you want to see whether it has a principle or not, uh, you need to find it hard, and then you might get the confidence. And you might understand that this business has to be done well. If you don't have this con confidence, you might get lost. In order to be successful in distribution, we need to follow this principle. First, you need to be the daily necessity, and it should have good quality at a low cost. And this product have no choice but to sold well, to be sell, sold well. Let's say that cosmetic is a uh, is one of the daily necessities, and man might answer, I can leave without it, but for women, it's a daily necessity. When they go out, 
When they need to choose makeup and food, they might choose on makeup. For them, sometimes makeup is better than the food. That's why we call it the daily necessity. The daily necessity has been used for a long period of time from the past. Cleopatra also used it a thousand years ago. So this is a daily necessity. And it has great quality. And Director Han sang e u n also explained about it. One bottle supposed to be cost million won. But now we sell it. We sell the six sets at 88,000 Korean won. Actually, I must say this is nonsense. The quality is absolute, but the price is also absolute. No one else could make the product at this price. Let's take an example of Hemo Him. My goal was to sell the product at a cheaper price of the uh, fake product. It was, it, the name was Hemo Mine or something? I recognize that this, that was the counterfeit of our product, but the product was three times expensive, more expensive than h e m o h i m It was the counterfeit, but it was more expensive than that of that h e m o h i m So that counterfeit product disappeared after a month. So I asked, oh, I cannot see Hemo Mine anymore. And the owner said, yes, at first it was sold well, but it isn't anymore. The reason is that although it was a counterfeit, it was more expensive than Hemo Him. So, my goal is that I would like to sell Hemohim at a cheaper price than the, than the counterfeit. There are a lot of good mushrooms and a lot of good herb uh, medicines and you could get this kind of product at a discount store and you could uh, give this product to your parents because it seems fancy but this product cost about 150,000 Korean won so on average this kind of health functional food cost about 150,000 Korean won per month but now we have the extracts So it is really concentrated, concentrated extract, but the other product contains a lot of water. You know, in our house, we have enough water. We don't need to put water into that product. But now, we don't put any water into the product, and we have the concentrated extract, and the price is only 88,000 Korean won. And also, it has great quality with CIS articles about it. There are like uh, 10 Tons of articles in it. If it has only two articles, it is really great, but we have tens of articles in it. It also proven for its uh, efficacy and for the fatigueness. We use the sashi type of hemohim. And one of my goals is to develop a hemohim with some flavor, as yummy as b a k a s or other energy drinks. So for me, I think that uh, if that product is fully developed, I might drink tens of bottles every day. Sometimes we drink b a k a s the energy drink, frequently because it tastes good. So that we are in the development process to develop that favor, favory, um, uh, flavory, flavory um, hemohim product. Twenty years ago, when we first started developing Hemohim product, 
한 달에 500 박스밖에 못 팔았죠. At the very early stage, they could only sell 500 boxes a month because they have another distribution channel. Said back then, we did some animal testing. So one to one mouth, we gave light up hemohim, and to the other mouth, we only feed water and other beverage. And in a cylinder, we put them in a cylinder. With the water. And mouses will be drowned if they don't swim. So they swim like that in the cylinder, and they became they become really fatigued after an hour and two hour. They might be drowned. So the mouse that didn't have hemohim died, but the mouse that had hemohim survived, which means that their muscle gets fatigued later than the mouse that didn't have hemohim. So the mouse that was fed hemohim survived longer than the mouse that was not fed uh, hemohim. So if you take two sachets of hemohim a day, you might feel the differences. So let me tell you a truth. Recently, I don't really, I didn't really understand why many people have hemohim. But now I'm, I'm getting aged, and now I could recognize and I could feel why many people want to have hemohim so frequently. I'm these day I write on Kungmin Daily Newspaper and I wrote about the, the path of agony because a lot of lot of um, church elders wrote articles on that paper before the past the ex-president Lee myung Bao also wrote on that paper anyways I wrote this small article but I need to do it every day I need to say a lot of things, but I have this only, I got only this small part. So when I write down something long, I need to summarize into small piece. I need to stay up late until like 2 a.m. and 3 a.m. in the night. And my, it is a daily news. So I need to the ending so the employee needed to wait for me and they need he needs to uh, like correct some and up until the night 3 a.m. at night I stayed awake so now I feel dizzy whenever I feel like this I need to take him him and then I get refreshed at this night I have I will I'm gonna have a lecture before I will do that lecture, I will take Hemohim. So I think that I will have four to six sachet of Hemohim today. Normally, you can take two every day. I'm not saying you have to take four or six, and that's only for me. And, um, you should think about your weight. Uh, we recommend those um, light feet people can have two sausages. And that those bigger people uh, can actually have more. So we have the standard for the uh, lightest people. And I can take more. It doesn't really matter. That's actually my way, not the recommendation by the drug safety agency. After having it, I can feel difference. 
especially in the morning. Tonight, I uh, have the lecture and the lecture for tonight is the main one and they say I should wrap up. I am the chairman, but they say uh, they are seeing me to wrap up uh, because I, I was talking a lot and I cannot really wrap up right now. Okay, okay, I will wrap it up. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for your passionate vision lecture. Please give him another big hand.